Hello viewer, welcome back. Um, I've got two projects on the go at the moment, so uh, one I'm waiting for the glue to dry on the on the one, this segmented thing. I've got this uh, oak bowl blank, well it's not really deep enough to be a bowl, it's just an oak round. It is um, seven inches and just an inch thick. So uh, I've had a little idea of what I can do with it. So I've marked and drilled the centre and I'm just going to put it on the uh, screw chuck, woodworm screw, whatever you want to call it, on the lathe and uh, put a mortise on and make a little platter out of it and then try and put a little bit of a detail on it. Usual thing now, just going to get the uh, where I want the mortise, roughly, the pencil mark around there, that'll do, uh, and make a mortise, which you've seen loads of times before. So I shall get on with that, I'll see you in a minute. Well, I've got the mortise cut and uh, put a little groove in, just to leave that little foot around there, as I usually do. I'm just starting to give it a little bit of shape now, just like a very similar to a bowl, just rounding it off here before I turn it round and put it in the jaws of the chuck. And I'll carry on with that till I've got it the shape that I want. You've seen it before loads of times. It's just using this spindle gauge more or less on its side, using it more or less as a scraper. In fact, I might just go over to the scraper now. Okay, I'm just using my round uh, 12 mil, I think it is, carbide tip scraper now. Uh, it is oak and it's very hard, so uh, I've gone onto the carbide tip and it's just shaping it off now before I turn it round. I think that shape will do nicely, sort of OG shape. I'll give it a quick sand and polish and then uh, start on the other side. Well, I'm just going to face this up now, I've got it all turned round. I want to keep quite a wide rim on this, similar to the last platter or dish I did actually with Albert wasn't it I think. So I'm just going to put a mark with this little diamond pointed carbide tip. I'm just going to hollow a bit of this out so it's more of a, a platter than a, than a dish. Not much uh, thickness to it really, just an inch. So I'm just going to give it a bit of shape anyway and then leave this and uh, I will be putting something round here. Right, I've just been giving it a few uh, finishing cuts around this with a 10mm round carbide tip just to blend that shoulder in 
Uh, it's easier to get out like this than the, with the um, spindle gouge, well it is for me anyway. So I'm just blending that round and then I'll just give it a few final cuts, very gentle scrapes and that'll be the basic shape done then, so we'll be on to the next stage. Right, so I bought myself a box of um, forcing bits a few weeks ago, because uh, I had some really rubbish ones, so I bought myself some nice set anyway, so this is what I aim to do. Now what I've done is, zoom in a bit for you, I've just put some masking tape on so it's easy for me to see the, the marks I've made. I'm going to use six from the smallest, which is a, a quarter, and then I'm going up to, uh, I think it's three quarters, and on, seven eighths, right? Uh, I've got a pair of dividers and I'm marked off, more or less, they're more or less equal equidistant as they say, and uh, those are the six I'm going to use. When I've done that, I shall repeat it by taking the small one over to that side and repeat the pattern. <laughs> then I'm going to fill them in. A bit daft in it, drilling a hole and then filling it in, but still, you know, there's method in my madness. So what I'm going to do is drill through. I don't want to go right the way through the the rim. I'll probably go down about um, a quarter of an inch with all these different sizes so I'll see you in a bit right there's all the holes drilled out it took a bit of doing so I did it by hand and I couldn't be bothered to go over to the pillar drill but still it doesn't matter um, the next stage you've got epoxy resin hardener I've got the 30 minute I have got the 5 minute but I'm not a very fast worker so uh, I'm going to use a 30 minute, uh, gives me plenty of time to mess around with it then. And I've also got some, hang on, this is uh, bronze metal powder, which I'm going to add to some of the epoxy. And in the other container, I've got some copper metal powder which I shall add to another lot of epoxy. But keep the lid on it for now, because knowing me I'll knock it and it'll go everywhere. Now apparently you don't need much of this, so I'm going to uh, mix a bit of the powder in with the resin and then I'll add the hardener to it afterwards and we'll see how that goes. It is quite cold today so it might take a while to get this out of here. I'm not going to mix too much up to start with. Put the top back on. Got my little mixing stick. Try a bit of this. Apparently you don't need too much of it. It goes a long way, so we'll try, try that to start with. Well, it sure does colour it, and I hardly put any powder in there at all, so it will last me for probably years, that bit of powder I've got. That's excellent. I'll just add a bit more resin now. I've got to, an idea of how much powder to put in. Give it a good thorough mixing. Lovely job, right? And add the hardener. I haven't done too much work with um, epoxy. I've done one little vase where I put a bit of red on it, and I did a little oak bowl which had tiny little bits of epoxy in it, but I've never really used it as a as a feature so much. But uh, you know me, I like experimenting. Give it a 
Thora mix. The powder's that fine, it's like it's like flour basically, it's really fine. Mixes in very well, I'm very pleased with that. Alright, that should do. Now I'll start filling in the holes. Take a dollop of it and uh, see what happens. Need to get it right in so it's best to mush it around a bit. You don't want any air bubbles in it. I'm going pretty close to the top of the, the holes, but this is all going to be skimmed off anyway and back in the lathe, so it's going to lose a bit of its thickness. Pushing it right down into the corners for better adhesion. so on until you've got all the holes. Now I'm just doing six with this bronze and the other six will be with the copper colour. Exactly the same method, just a different colour. There's lots of ways you can do it, you can alternate the colour, I just wanted to do, do it like this. I haven't gone far off mixing the right amount, there might be a little bit left over, but uh, that's fine. I'm always going to get uh, some wastage. Actually I should have put it in a piping bag, you know, I used to be a chef. I could have piped it out a lot quicker than this. Mind you, I would have probably ended up throwing it in the oven. And then to the tiny hole, Let's see if I can, oh yes, perfect shot. Just scrape that off. And get rid of some of the excess. And the last two, that's better. Um, yeah, not bad. I'll just top that big one up a little bit, I think. And maybe the next one to it. At least I know now I'm more or less on with the mix. I could do with just a half a squeeze less <laughs> and I shouldn't have any waste on the next one. So that's that. Leave that to dry. Uh, gas mark 6 for 25 minutes. Don't forget to baste it. <laughs> See you later. Right, it's back on the lathe. Uh, all set I think. Give it a quick skim and see what happens. Oh, they're all still in there. I wish I should carry on and uh, flatten it off then. Yep, excellent. Oh yes, coming up very nice that is. They'll polish up very well. A little bit more to go. Well viewer, just to show that we all make mistakes, there's mine. I went through. Um, nothing that can't be put right. But uh, I just tried to get it that little bit thinner. So I haven't bothered actually finishing it off totally yet, but I'm really pleased with the effect. Um, I don't know what you think, let me know. But I will actually finish this off. A lot of, lot of people that don't bother showing the mistakes, they cut them out of the videos, but I like to show if I've done something wrong, 
not all tell you about it. Uh, that was my mistake. First time I've ever done it, gone too thin, so it was only an inch thick to start with, so I was asking for trouble really. But I, uh, I shall finish it and then I shall polish it all up properly. It's just had a quick coat of uh, sanding sealant at the moment. And, but I will finish it off. Um, let me know what you think. Okay, um, this hole is from the wormwood screw. I haven't actually gone all the way through like I thought I had. There is still a little bit of thickness there. So I'm going to have a go at just making a little sort of mortise, if you like, in there. And I shall fill that probably with some more um, epoxy. Let's have a go anyway. I managed to do it without actually going through. So I've got a little bit of a recess now which might just be enough to put a bit of epoxy in there. We'll soon see. Well, I've got the little repair done now. Um, so a bit of a waste of time filming it. You saw what I did just cut out a little recess there. And uh, it seems to have worked okay. Plugged the hole in anyway. Um, this is just an experiment with, with epoxy and this, these um, powders that I bought um, and they're really strong so you uh, you only need the slightest pinch of, to colour the epoxy you, it comes in a little polythene bag and you think well it's not going to last very long but believe me after you've used it you realise it is going to last a heck of a long time uh, when I mix this for the centre here I, I just use the slightest pinch there's hardly any on my fingers at all and it's coloured it very nicely uh, I used too much on these outer rings the, the copper and the brass but I'll know for next time it's all about experimenting and I thought I'd put the video up anyway to see what you thought of the actual piece um, and I know next time I've got to use less of this colouring and uh, I should be away then. I'll give it a bit of a polish as well, so it's come up not bad at all, really. <clears throat> I didn't really know what to do with this piece of wood because it was only an inch thick. So I think it's made a nice little decorative platter. And uh, let me know what you think of the of the design anyway. And uh, I like it. It's a bit bit different, isn't it? I don't know what to call it. <coughs> Um, I don't even know if I'll bother giving it a name. <laughs> oh well, that's it anyway. Uh, let me know what you think. And um, I'll see you all soon. Bye now.